Is your head spinning with all the confusing nutritional messages that you receive day to day about cholesterol and fats? In view of the poor awareness statistics about cholesterol, there is a need for a one to one session with a dietitian to know more about cholesterol and its effects on health. As your blood cholesterol rises, so does your risk to coronary disease, but the good news is cholesterol could be kept under control with a healthy, heart friendly diet and change in lifestyle. You would have heard about the good and the bad cholesterol the low density and the high density lipoproteins and it may sound like you are going through a maze yet it cannot be taken lightly high cholesterol can be a silent killer as most of us are not even aware that our cholesterol levels are high till a breakdown occurs or if you go for a health check what is this cholesterol cholesterol is a waxy substance that is derived only from animal foods and our body also produces cholesterol that is used in hormones and storage of vitamin d although you hear that cholesterol is bad yet our body needs cholesterol to promote body function. Types of cholesterol A combination of these two is denoted as high cholesterol. Low-density lipoprotein or the bad cholesterol builds plaques in the arteries that can block the blood flow and lead to blood clots, stroke or heart disease. High-density lipoprotein with a good cholesterol helps in removing excess cholesterol from the body by removing excess LDL from the body. Another type of fat called the triglycerides will always be seen in the lipid tests. High triglyceride will denote the excess calorie intake through refined foods and may be a trigger factor for type 2 diabetes and excess body fat. How to know if you are at risk? If you are a male over 40 years of age and women over 50 years and in menopause although with today's fast foods and choice of food, the trend for high cholesterol is from as young as 20 years and above. Genetics as it runs in the family. Obesity with a waist circumference of over 37 inches for men and 31.5 inches for women. Smoker and physical inactivity. How do you read the lipid test? For high-density lipoprotein, HDL, or good cholesterol to have a higher number. For low-density lipoprotein, LDL, or bad cholesterol to have a lower number. And for the total cholesterol, a lower number is the best. Dietary intervention. The American Heart Association Committee recommends the following. Loose weight if you are overweight as losing weight will be the first step you are taking in managing cholesterol levels. Balance calorie intake and physical activity. Eat a heart-healthy diet which means reducing saturated and trans fats. Quit smoking, vaping and lower cholesterol. Enjoy your meal with plant sterols and stonol make food choices with plenty of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, Nuts and seeds as they are rich in these two substances as they are good in combating the rising levels of cholesterol and LDL. Include soy protein in your diet as they are good source of protein. Consume fish at least twice a week specially oily fish. Select lean proteins and opt for steamed, baked or grilled methods of cooking. Enjoy soluble fiber that helps in lowering cholesterol levels. Choose different colored fruits and vegetables in your diet. Whole grains are a great choice to include or enjoy the benefits of dietary fiber. Limit refined carbohydrates and specially cereals and sources with added sugar. Consume alcohol in moderation. Drink plenty of water and stay away from sweetened and fizzy drinks. Choose to cook at home as you can make healthy options and let eating out be on occasions. While purchasing packaged food, ensure you read the nutrition labels to ensure to read on the sodium and trans fat values as this is not an option for management of cholesterol. Look for canned foods packed in water or in their own juice. At times it might be challenging that with a restricted diet and exercise, the cholesterol levels may not dip, then you will have to reach out to your medical practitioner who may put you on medications to keep your cholesterol at bay. However these medication will not be of help or can replace healthy eating and healthy lifestyle is your he